So as you can see, Sandstar, a fireball is a very indiscriminate weapon. They are incredibly deadly, true, but they are just as likely to harm friend as they are foe. But they do kill things really, really well. If they are not immune to fire in one way or another, yes. Hmm. I have always wondered about the arcane. It takes many years to study to be a wizard. What about people who just naturally gain their power? Ah, those that are in tune with draconic power. I have never seen one, and I hope I never do. They are wild and uncontrolled, and it is very dangerous to have magic like that. But awesome, right? Uh, no, no, not awesome. Not awesome at all. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Eye of the Beholder. And when last we left off, we could very well have gone down and explored around all those um, switches and in the floor and seen how we would do that way. I don't think we're going to do that, though. Mainly because there's not much need for me to do that. Because... Ah, oh, hello! There's a Drow Warrior here. Let's deal with... Okay, that Drow Warrior is very, very dead. What we need to do is we need to see what we're going to do in um, other areas. What we want to do is find another route around. I get the feeling that this is a shortcut more than any particular route in any direction. That fireball went that way, which is probably a good thing. We're going to go this way right now and see where it takes us. My theory is that this just linked up to the area that uh, we got that fireball scroll from, and indeed it does. I'm not sure that there's any new areas that we're going to get to by going through that area. We could turn right and see where that would lead us, but right now I think it's just a very dangerous diversion that's going to earn us nothing but potential doom and destruction and death. And Doom and Destruction and Death is something I most certainly do not want to dish out on my party. See, this is the room we started in. We managed to find one drow, but uh, we'd rather find another location. And there's this route here, which we uh, may have been down. It all rem I can hear new enemies. Those are either drow or a different enemy altogether. So we must be getting close to somewhere that we haven't explored in great detail. But then again, there are swords. So, oh, there's a drow there. Hello. How many drow are down here? A couple? We may have been here before, but fighting drow is never a bad thing. Especially considering the fact that they have no magic missiles. Magic missiles really are the uh, bad thing about fighting the drow. Then again, I could very easily have backed up while fighting drow and not got into an area that I should have gone into. And Tag Horde is now paralyzed. And taking a lot of damage, but fortunately Tag Horde has a lot of health. So let's go back down here and see... Ah, whoa, that's a lot of drow. I think it's time to see how that fireball spell goes. Okay, it does do a fair bit of damage. I don't know if that's killed any of them. Let's try again, shall we? It's not too bad, I suppose. There we go, we'll just deal some more uh, attacks here. Melf Sassy Darrow. We don't want Valendra to get hit too. Also, this is four drow. This is a lot of drow. Magic missile time! And that did not uh, do anything in particular. One drow, however, has been defeated, which is always good. We could start using ranged weapons. Good idea, actually. Start using the uh, the bow and the sling. Now we only have two. Let's do some more attacks here. And they're hitting Tag Whore again. That's not good. There we go. Just need to... Uh, another miss there. Ooh, Tag Whore is not doing so well there. Fortunately, Valendra has not been paralyzed either, or else we'd have to use the, uh, we could use Remove Paralysis now. Might actually be a good idea, but right now we want to use Cure Light Wounds, just to make sure Taghor does not die. Taghor may die anyway. Fortunately, there is only one left, so we should quite easily be able to deal with this one. Have a stone to the face! There we go! One more drow taken care of, or rather, lots of drow taken care of. Tagor is not doing very well, but we have uh, used our ranged weapons, most certainly to our advantage. This might be an area we haven't been to, then again this might be an area where they've just respawned, so who can say for sure? What we really need is we need a bag of stones like Drake had in Stonekeep. That would be quite useful. Also, right now, I'm pretty sure if we right-click that, we can lay on hands here. That will help uh, Tagor a little. And we probably want to use some more Cure Light. 
We really need a better cure spell, that's for sure. This looks like an area we haven't been to that much. Then again, we went to here already. It's here that we have not yet been. We could jump down a bit. Alternatively, that fired a fireball. Hmm. And standing there fires another fireball. Hmm. I don't like that. Does putting something there? No, putting something there does not launch a fireball. Is that going to... Hmm. Let's seem to get rid of that. That's good. What's down here? And Tag Horde is no longer paralyzed. Welcome back. Thank you. I don't like being paralyzed all the... Are we getting attacked by something? Yes, that's a drow. Well, I can deal with a drow. Get me my vengeance. Oh, you've, you've already killed it. Fair enough. What's down here? The way we've already been, isn't it? Yeah, it's the way we've already been. What's in here, though? This is a new area. A new area we have not yet been to. And there is a door that will not open. I don't like that. This is also a door that will not open. And this is also a door that will not open. I'm going to rest here, because I do not trust in the least that we're going to be able to get out of here without any problems. It's not going to be good. All characters are fully healed, and there is no... Yeah, I had a feeling. Here's a cleric scroll of removed paralysis. Oh, that thing looks bad. Those look like some really nasty skeletons. Oh, that's not good. They attack fast, too. I do not like these. These are far worse undead than had been there before. They also attack very fast. It's all right, I'll use a fireball spell. It might... Or you could just leave. Excellent. Gives me a chance to blast you with these fireballs. They are fast. Fortunately, that hit both of them. Oh dear. Are we... Oh, we have not been surrounded. That's good. Oh, this is really bad. We just need to hit as soon as we can, and then just move, because oh dear. Fortunately, only one of them is now attacking us, which is good. I get the feeling the other one is going to come around, though, and we're going to have to fight that one too. Yep, here comes the other one. We do not want to be surrounded here. Fortunately, the enemies seem to like to uh, move in particular patterns, which is always to our advantage. These are nasty foes. Alright, let's use this opportunity to do some healing. That, I believe, was Bless, which still is a nice spell to have cast here. Really should have cast that sooner. Alright, we want a Melf's Acid Arrow here. Aha! Excellent! We are victorious! Here is a robe. Do not know if it's magical. I'm going to grab this key, however, and this scroll of Protect Evil 10 feet. That's certainly a case of this item would have been really useful beforehand. Is that a magic robe? It may be a magic robe. I don't know. Ten armor class. Ten armor class. No, it just seems like a robe. That's fair enough. I can hear another one of those enemies, though. That is really not good. I do not like those foes. What were they? They were much different to the undead we have fought before. More powerful uh, clerics have the ability to bring worse undead into the world. And that is indeed an example of one of those worse undead. Indeed. It is a mighty foe that we should be very, very careful of. Unfortunately, it can uh, still fall to a little bit of uh, tactics and trickery. They do like focusing me, though. To be fair, you and the drow appear to be enemies. It makes sense that they would focus you over others. I, I suppose. Oh, there they are. Your weapon's not as good against them. Well, to be fair, it's, uh, it is an undead. What can a, uh, what can a halberd hit on an undead? That's true. That's true. Ah! They really do like hitting Taghor, don't they? They really do. Fortunately, that one has now been defeated, and just... Is there another one? I think there's another one. Do you have any more healing? A little. Hmm. 
think it might be time to use one of these potions. It's not bad. You feel better. It's it's better than nothing, I suppose. It's one. It's not one there. Oh. Ah, it would appear that somebody else has fallen down from the sewers. That's not appropriate, you know. Looks like it might have been a fellow cleric. I feel sorry for their fate. Ah, oh, you shouldn't. They knew the risks probably when they were coming down here. They most certainly knew the risks. We'll take the bones. They could very well be useful to someone. Hmm. Just eat this food here. Clear out some space in my backpack. Well, now that we've dealt with this, shall we move on? We do have what we came for, a key. We also need to move very quickly down here. To avoid that fireball. Fireball seems to move to that area there with the pit. I would not like to have been hit by that fireball, but at a similar note, that was a very dangerous thing for us to do. I can hear- Whoa, I can hear more drow! Yes, indeed, there were more drow. Also, this is not the best place to fight drow. Well, now there's one less drow to fight. We're going to have to hold our ground here, though. If we back up too much, we may fall into that pit. And the last thing we want to do right now is fall into... Oh, dear. There we go. I thought that Valendra had been paralyzed there, but no, it was the fact that um, that icon is always um, checkered over. And now there's another drow. Is there a trigger there to spawn a drow whenever I head into that area? If that's the case, that would be an interesting way to uh, get a lot of experience. That said, I am starting to think I have a little bit too much experience for this area. Let's test this. If we go into here... Will this then... No, no, that drow just seemed to respawn after a while. We do have a key, though. This key will be very useful. I do remember there was a door. Aye, there was a door, but we do need to find somewhere to rest. Don't want to be caught by any of those enemies. Well, here where we found the arrows will be fine, certainly. Uh, perhaps. It may be. I think it's time for you to use your, uh, food creation spell. Agreed. It will be useful. I'll take first watch, though. I don't trust that the drow may not have a trap ready for us. Aye, they may do. Rest well. And we shall indeed rest. It is important that we do. We do have a key. This key will be useful. Hopefully this key will lead us to, uh... Something interesting. Hmm. Hopefully it will lead us to an item we need. Let's move on. As we open this one with a key, let's see if we can find another door with it. There was another door with a key. I just need to remember where it is. Well, it's not there. It's not there, but we will find it. We will find this door with a key. Was it over here? No, I get the feeling this is backtracking us back to... Yeah, this is backtracking us to an area we've already been to. Hmm. Yeah, definitely, because that is a uh, sword that we uh, most certainly left behind. And this, I do think, is the exit. We're very good at finding the exit, and by the exit I mean the entrance. We're brilliant at finding the entrance to this place. Absolutely brilliant at it. Also, I think if we just move forward here, we won't get... Oh, we get hit once, don't we? Yes, we do. And that way. Was this where the... Um... I think we've just backtracked all the way to where the fireball area was, haven't we? Yeah, this is the area where we rested before. And that is the room we rested in. Somewhere around here is a door with a key. I just need to find that area. That is an area with lots of swords, so that's unlikely to be the location. And that is... that's the room we just went past. We've backtracked, haven't we? Yeah, substantially. But it's all good. That's more drow, isn't it? In fact, this is the area we were in before. But the drow have reappeared. So you can get a lot of experience. I just need to remember where this um, door we need to unlock is. There we go. Just uh, move over here. I'm getting good at remembering the uh, directions of the corridors we were previously in. Also, that halberd, pretty good. It's a pretty good weapon. The Drow Cleaver is not doing as well as it uh, should be with a name like Drow Cleaver. But then again, you can call a weapon practically anything. You could call a weapon like Beholder Skewerer, and it might actually be no good at dealing with Beholders. In fact, the only thing it might be good at dealing with is, uh, like, back-scratching issues or something. But you would hardly call a weapon the Back Scratcher. 
Actually, I think there might be a weapon in D&D called the Back Scratcher. Then again, there are probably weapons called all sorts of things in this, um, in D&D. I think I hear more enemies, but I don't know where they are. Yeah, we're just backtracking there. That's not good. Let's, uh, cast Lay on Hands on, uh, Valendra. Well, I go look for a door. Also, that did really well. Does it do more for her than it does anyone else? Uh, that aside. Aha! We found it. Just a little bit of searching and, uh, stairs up. Alright, let's go up. Where does this lead to? Ah, another one of these items, a stone ring. Aye, it's very similar to the other items that we found, a ring made of stone. Probably also a good place to rest and recuperate. I completely agree! We resting again, we barely did anything. We've been in this place for weeks! Would you rather be dead, Sandstar? I suppose you're right, Valendra, but still! We rest for days at a time, and I've heard Taghor's stories a thousand times. That's an exaggeration, I've only told them like four times. But it's the same four stories! Was there anything else up there that was of any use? Or was it just the, uh... Or was it just that? No buttons or anything to press? No, it would literally seem that all that was in here was that stone ring. Hmm. Well, we, uh, most certainly want to now find our way to those stairs down. The question is, I now need to find where those stairs down were. That is not the way to those stairs down. We can avoid that area completely. We can get to all the other areas in the whole game without going through there. That is literally a shortcut. Memory serves. We do... Is that more drow? A more drow? Well, to be fair, more drow would be spawned if we uh, rest. Let me go see if those drow are over there. They normally are, and we could always do with some more experience. Drow? Any drow over here? No drow there. We most certainly do not want to step on that pressure plate. What we need to do is just find the way down, because I think we found all that we need to find here. At least I'm pretty sure that we've uh, found all we need to find. Which is not bad. We managed to get through this area without too much difficulty. All I need to do now is locate the exit. I get the feeling the exit is... Okay, this way just leads to this area, which we've already been to. And that is the uh, pressure plates of doom, which we are not going to press. We've walked on those way too many times. Let's see if we can find the exit without destroying our feet. I have to agree, destroying our feet is uh, counterproductive to us uh, getting anywhere, especially considering that it always ends up destroying the rest of us, too. Okay, that's the door there, and that led to nothing. And I think the other way led... it just backtrack. yeah, it just backtracks us, that's... Uh, not what we want, is it? Oh, well, there are drow here. That's where the drow are. Well, oh, Valendra is paralyzed this time. That's less good. That's less good. Well, we can always fight here. There we go. Miss and rock to the face does absolutely nothing. I'm not surprised rock to the face did nothing. I'm not so happy about the fact that nothing seems to be uh, hitting this drow. It would seem that Valendra certainly is the power. Ah, there we go. We'll go get these rocks. I hear a lot more drow. Yeah, I think it's time to uh, remove paralysis here. Yeah, we need Valendra here. Even though we really shouldn't be fighting these enemies at all. I, I'm pretty... Ah, well, the Lamva got another level of experience out of it. Which is actually not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Okay, we just need to get a few good hits in. Fight Drow is, uh, in the end, they're not the worst combat in the world, especially if you have a, a uh, cleric. I could not begin to imagine playing this game without a cleric. If you had no cleric at all, I'm not even sure you can complete the game very well either without a wizard. I think you need some form of wizard too. I think that's why the game gives you, um, 
would probably give you a, um... That was Bless again, wasn't it? Yep, that was Bless again by mistake. I imagine the game gives you access to a wizard even if you do not have one in your party, which would make sense. Also, here are the arrows back. And this is a way we've already been, which leads to this area which has nothing in it. Fair enough. So we don't want to go that way. But hey, we got the Lamva to level, um, what level? Seven. Let's, um, uh, pray for spells here. Let's see what she gets. Fourth level spells here. Aha! Neutralize poison. Finally, we have the ability to get rid of poison effects. We actually uh, want to have a protection from evil 10 feet here. That's going to be pretty useful. And so, when we come back, folks, we shall continue to explore these areas and basically look for the, uh, the stairs down. The stairs down are a bit of a search, but I'm pretty sure we'll find them. And when we do find them, we will go down them. And when we go down those stairs... When we go down these stairs... <laughs> yeah, I found them. They're right there. They were literally just round the corner from where we were. And we'll do a little bit of resting, and then we'll head down these stairs and see what we can find. Alright. Excellent. So... I'll catch you next time, folks, for when we come back. We'll continue to explore and hopefully find uh, less drow to deal with. I'm really being hopeful there, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>